Hello everyone, my name is Nick, and today I will be showing you how to live stream HD gameplay to YouTube, Twitch TV, or pretty much any streaming website using Adobe Flash Media Live Encoder, which is free software. All the stuff I'm showing you here will be free software. Um, XSplit is a very popular alternative to live streaming, but it, uh, it will soon become paid. Um, and it's not just, you can't just buy the software, you have to pay for a subscription, which is something I didn't really want to do. So you can make this work using free software here, and uh, you don't have to pay anything. So the three programs I recommend you getting only, I guess you only really need Adobe Flash Media Live Encoder, which is free from Adobe. Um, the link will be in the description. You have to sign up for a, uh, an Adobe account but all you have to do is enter in your email and you get to download it for free. Um, you also need, well, you don't really need this, but this does help, um, VH Multicam Studio and Amarac TV. Now, I have a video explaining how to record gameplay using Amarac TV. Um, link to that will also be in the description of this video. Now, I just want to start off by saying you do need a capture card to do this. Every time I post a video about capturing gameplay or recording gameplay or streaming or anything like that, people somehow think that this is a trick to get around having a capture card or a PVR. No, <laughs> you need a capture card if you want to stream um, gameplay from your Xbox or PlayStation or anything like that. You need a capture card, a PVR, something like that. Um, so I just want to get that out of the way. Now, First off, if you want to have a webcam, you need VH Multicam Studio. So I recommend that you download this program. Uh, I'm going to try and find a link to the older version because the newer version does not seem to work for me. Um, it might work for you, but the older version does work fine. So you want to get that. I'm going to open it up and uh, you want to go to File, Add Camera. And I'm going to start off by adding my webcam, which uh, should come on here. So I got my webcam there, and it has a nasty autofocus feature, which I generally like to turn off here. Uh, focus, no autofocus. Uh, it likes to change the focus a lot. Uh, then you want to go to view, resolution, and you get a ton of options. And I'm assuming you want um, 720p, so 1280 by 720. You can then adjust the camera to be in the top corner, as most people seem to like their webcam to be in the top corner. Um, then you want to add another camera. Now if you're using Amarac TV, I will show you that now, just how to quickly set that up. Um, what you do for Amarac TV, uh, annoying feature of VH Multicam Studio is that it opens up every time you open something. <laughs> it likes to open itself up. Um, but pretty much you go in here, you select your device, all that sort of thing. Um, there is a file called uh, Amarac Live Install uh, in the download link that I put in the description. Um, you want to install that program, the one that ends with underscore EN. Uh, that would be the English version and not the Japanese one. I'm assuming you'd want that. And you just want to click here, enable live, set uh, your frame rate to 30, 1280 by 720. Um, if you have any questions about Amarac, there is a video explaining this more thoroughly, how to set this up. But uh, pretty much you want to um, have the live feature enabled there. Okay, so I've got my Xbox outputting to Amarac TV here. Um, so now I want to add that in VH Multicam Studio. So I'm going to add camera. And this is the um, Amarac Video Capture, which is the virtual output of Amarac. Um, so now you see that's in my VH Multicam. And um, yes, you just want to kind of make it so that this one is on top. So you just go there to make sure that the webcam is over top of the gameplay. That will be much more effective. And uh, you'll have that there. Next, you want to go to um, Adobe Flash Media Live Encoder. And we're going to open this up. And it's kind enough to open up another. VH Multicam Studio. Um, what you want to do here is make sure that you have enable output to video capture device. Um, I don't think you need to have this checked. But if you disable the auto start to make it stop opening it up, 
I found that it would not let me select it as a device in uh, Adobe Flash Media Live Encoder stuff. So um, here we have Adobe Flash Media Live Encoder, and you might want to make this full screen 1080p to see settings. But uh, pretty much, you want to go here and make these 50% so that they're not like giant and taking up all of your screen. Um, so you want to make those 50% for your device here. You want to make VH Multicam, your format, H.264, 30 frames per second. Um, I believe most streaming sites only support this. Your input size, if you selected 720p, will be 1280 by 720. And yes, you want to maintain this aspect ratio. Um, for selecting your bitrate, this is something that most people might have trouble with. Um, what you want to do is go to speedtest.net. I'm just going to pull this up for a second here. Speedtest.net and uh, you want to go ahead and test your internet speed because if your internet is too slow you will not stream very well at all. Um, so what you're looking for here is a good upload speed. You want to have at least maybe a 5 megabit per second upload to be able to stream effectively. Um, I have a lot more than that so um, I am pretty good on that but uh, so I usually do 2000 kilobits per second and my output size actually for YouTube I usually do 640 by 360 I believe is 360p for YouTube but uh, if you do higher than 2000 kilobits per second most people's internet will not be able to keep up with this and they'll get um, stuttery video and it will lag for them that sort of thing um, sometimes the server you're streaming to even though you have a you know 50 megabit per second upload you might not be able to upload at 2000 um, so I really wouldn't go above 2000 by very much and I really wouldn't go below maybe 1500 so if you have maybe a 3 megabit per second upload I would uh, stream at maybe 1500 kilobit per second and uh, then you'd have a bit of bandwidth left for playing games. If you're not playing games, then you maybe want to do 80 or 90% of your max upload speed. Like if you're not playing games online, you, if you don't need internet for that. Um, now, you have two options if you want to re or stream game sound as well as your own voice microphone, that sort of thing. Um, if you press C on Amarac TV and you go to live, you can go here to mixer. You can enable this, you can choose your mic, and then uh, adjust the capture, adjust the mic volume, um, and get that sent to your stream um, as long as the mixer is enabled. But if you're like me and you want to capture gameplay as well as live stream, and you want that captured gameplay to not include your commentary, you've got to do some interesting and fun, interesting things. So, <laughs> um, what you have to do here is right click your sound icon, go to recording devices, right click this, click show disabled devices, and you want to go to stereo mix. If you don't see this, you're going to have to Google it, um, because it probably means your drivers aren't properly installed. But you want to enable stereo mix, um, and pretty much what this does is, is it records whatever is played through the sound on Windows and that sort of thing. So. Um, if you make sure that the sound is not muted, I don't want to unmute it because it'll probably be really loud in this uh, this current capture, whatever. Um, as long as this isn't muted, it will be playing through your Windows sound. Now you also want to go to your microphone. See, I have my uh, USB microphone here. You want to click properties, you want to go to listen, and you want to check listen to this device. Now this will then play through your speakers and you might not like this if you're playing PC games but uh, you can configure devices to um, can I have it through stereo mix now uh, default playback device but anyways this will play through your speakers and this will work well if you're like me and uh, use a headset running from your Xbox but this might bother some people but uh, that's a really specific case now to do this on Twitch TV you have to sign in go to dashboard um, click streaming apps here and flash media encoder if you go to config it will download a config file that you can open um, with 
slash media encoder, it'll change your settings, you'll have to change them all back, but it'll open your stream key. Or you can click show key here, and you'll key that in to this area here to be able to stream so it knows where you're streaming to. Obviously, I'm not going to show you my stream key because I don't want you streaming as me. Um, now, if you want to do this on YouTube, you obviously have to be enabled to stream on YouTube. But if you want to go to live events, you make a new live event, you agree to terms. And, um, I don't know, once you make an event, Modern Warfare 2 live stream. Uh, description, tags, make it as gaming. Is that today? Sure, I'll stream at 8 o'clock. And obviously your time zone. Uh, I don't know, where's my time zone? Where am I? I don't even know, Toronto. Yeah, that's close. And apparently you have to have a description. My bad. <laughs> And you you get a key here, and you're not going to see the rest of my key because it's mine. And uh, yeah, pretty much once you have all that all that keyed in, um, you don't want to save the file. I don't use auto adjust, but some people might. I don't know. That's up to you. You can do some more stuff about that. But that's pretty much how to live stream your game sound, your microphone, your gameplay, your webcam to Twitch TV, uh, YouTube, or any other popular streaming website. Obviously, you can change the resolution here, you can adjust the bitrate, you can adjust your source. Now, if you want to stream PC gameplay, um, you can get a screen capture program and just capture the entire screen. That might work, I don't know. But uh, yeah, this is how to cons capture, no, how to stream <laughs> console gameplay. Um, all you have to do now is click start and you will be live streaming, assuming that you have entered in the correct information here. Um, I hope I have helped you. I hope this was of assistance. And if you have any more questions, uh, you don't quite understand anything, feel free to post a comment, I'll probably respond. And uh, yeah, so please like the video if you enjoyed. These are quite difficult to make and put together and it takes a lot of time of me sorting through my clips to, uh, to make this kind of thing. So if you could like the video, that really helps. Uh, maybe favorite it and subscribe to my channel if you want to see some, you know, Modern Warfare 2 gameplays, possibly Modern Warfare 3, Call of Duty, I pretty much, you know, that's what I do. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Um, see you later. Bye.